Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about enums in filament PHP. Enums or enumerations in PHP are a way to define a fixed number of possible values for a specific type. Enums make the code more re readable and less prone to errors. They were introduced in PHP 8.1 and so if you have an installation of PHP that is above 8.1, you can be able to leverage on the power of enums. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to use enums in this application that we have here. So this is just a new setup of a filament app. And to demonstrate enums, I would like to create an order model and migration. I will run the command php artisan make model order and we will tag migration such that it creates the order and migration. So we have a table that has, has been created, a migration that has been created in a d database migration, which is uh, called order. And inside this orders table, I would like to simplify very much because in an orders table, it, you have the user ID, many other details. But for this case, I want to simplify for the purposes of explaining whatever it is that I want to talk about. So we'll just have two more rows. So table, string, and here we can just have something like uh, order underscore number. Do not be really strict to be a number. You can use anything else. And then you have table enum, where we are using the enumerator. And our enumerator is a status and we are passing in the values that are accepted. So one of the values that is accepted is um, order placed. And then we have processing. And then we have uh, shipping. And then we have delivered. And lastly, cancelled that way. I would like us to go ahead and create the enum. So I will copy some of these things because I will need to use them. So we will go to our terminal again and run the command php artisan make enum and our enum is order status. That is the name of our enum. I will hit enter. And what it does, we actually have an enum created within the app directory. So I will open it. You can be able to modify it a bit. So the return type is actually string, but I would like to use several um, implementations of filament, or in other words, the helpers that we have there. So we are going to have the first one is called has label. We will have it implementing that. So implements has label like that. And then inside here, we are going to have our enum. So the first one is, uh, we can say case, uh, maybe placed. And we will actually have, I think we had order placed, I believe. And then we will have the next one is uh, processing like that. And uh, here, again, you just have it as processing. Next, we will have um, shipping. Next, we will have, I think we did have delivered. And remember, whatever it is that we are typing in quotation marks has to match exactly what we have in our database. And then lastly, we can have case cancelled. So after that, then we can uh, be able to implement this has label and I need to import it. So filament contracts has label. And then below here, now we can be able to get our labels. So we have public get label. And this, the return type is actually a string. Inside here, we can have a return this name like that maybe this can be set that way 
After that, we can implement uh, something else. So in this case, the description, if you intend to have a description. So after has label, we can say has description, has description like that. And then even that we have to declare it here. So public function get description. And uh, again, this is a string. And inside here, we can be able to have the description. So we can use the match function. So return match. And we will pass in uh, this. Inside here, we can now be able to return the value so here we can say self uh, placed maybe return a description like so the order has been placed and then self um, from whatever it is that we have is a processing and uh, we can return that the order is being processed after that we can have self shipping I think that is what we have above here, yes. Shipping. We can pass in that uh, order is uh, being shipped. And then self-delivered order has been delivered. And lastly, cancelled. Order has been cancelled like that. I will close this with uh, the quotation marks, the semicolon, sorry. On top of that, we can be able to, so this is get description, and here we have get label, and here we have the enums. So we can be able to add other things. We can uh, say has icon and then pass in the icons. So first of all, we will import filament contracts has icon and then implement it below. Public function get icons, it's supposed to be get icon. And then the return type, again, a string. Inside here, we will have, again, something similar to whatever it is that we have here. So I just copy this and uh, paste it here. Now, the only thing we will have is on this other side, we will pass in an icon. So inside here, we can be able to have hero icon or shopping cart. Maybe we can repeat for this one also, for the second one also. I do not want to use so much such that I do not um, be too much on uh, this icon thing. And then for shipping, we can put maybe something like a track. Hero icon uh, track, something of that sort. And then for delivered, we can have hero icon or oh, shake circle. And then lastly, for cancelled, we can have hero icon, O oh, X circle, like that. So those are the icons hoping I've typed them incorrectly. And of course, if you want to know where you can be able to get these icons, you can go to hero icons in uh, when you are looking at the blade kit ui so the blade icons they are the ones that we are using here you can just check under that the hero icons you can be able to get such kind of stuff and that will be able to assist you in one way or another the last thing we can be able to pass in is a color so we can also have different colors so i will also pass in a contract that is has uh, color and we will import it above so filament support contracts has color then also ensure in a similar way to include it as below so you have public function 
get color. Again, the return type will be a string. And inside here, I will just still want to copy what we have here and uh, paste it here. And what I would like to have are uh, just the different colors. So for order placed, I want it to be info. For processing, we can be able to use which color? We can use primary. For shipping, we can use uh, secondary or maybe gray. Let us use gray for delivered success. And then for this last one where we have canceled, we can use danger. So I believe we have been able to finish up this well. And so I would like us to create an order resource. So we will open terminal and just run the command. Just open a new terminal and run the command php artisan make filament hyphen resource and we are going to call it order resource and I want us to generate the fields and then we can go ahead and modify so let us refresh such that we see our orders and when we open here we have not uh, performed our migration that is why we're having an error so you just do php artisan migrate and now we can go back and uh, and refresh now we have the place where our orders are supposed to be if we go to new order we can be able to create an order i would like us to go to that resource and just modify one or two things so inside our order resource, I would like us to go to the form. In fact, we have not been able to generate anything because we didn't have the tables already. So what we are going to do, we will have text input, text input make. I think one of uh, the things I called it order number like that. And then we will import uh, text input like that so we have a class here that is called filament forms components text input and then for the enums we will display them using a select um, field select mac and what we have the column is supposed to be status in the database and then the options now in the options we are going to pass in our enum class so in this case i will just say order status class like that and that will fetch for us those uh, values inside our columns in our table columns i'd want us to have text column and in this case order number we will import text column above and then the next thing that we have in these columns is text column make status like that and what we can be able to have we can just select batch that way so let us attempt and see if everything will work according to how we expect how we refresh such that we can be able to create a record so we will for the order number i would like to just type in anything for the status now you can see whatever it is that we have in our order status being um, represented here so i would like it to be placed and i can click on create now if i go to our order list page now you can see we are having order placed the icon is not being uh, displayed i believe probably because of uh, my connection so let me try again it seems the icon is not displaying probably i mistyped it so let me change it to something else we can change this status to shipping save when we check now the status is shipping again the icon is not displaying let us check delivered experiencing a bit of uh, unexpected behavior but i believe this could be because i have not been able to set the enum in uh, the cast array so 
probably we can be able to pass it in here and say protected inside the order class protected casts then we can have our order so we are casting the status field and we will pass in the order status class like that so i would like to refresh and see if the colors apply it says annex yes there is a i'm supposed to close it with a semicolon like that and then import order status which is um, located in app order status like that and then uh, we can try and refresh again and see and now you can see the colors are applying and even the icons are applying well so if i change the status to delivered from cancelled to delivered and save now if we are to check again you can see that uh, it's giving our icon a nice uh, success color and also showing that um, our order status has changed to delivered sometimes instead of just displaying the status like this you may want to use the description instead so if that is what you want to do maybe you can chain and um, have a format format that using we can be able to have a function like that pass in the state and then um, we can be able to say a state get description like that so if we do that and attempt to refresh again now whatever it is that is being given in uh, our status is that order has been delivered so instead of just having delivered you can be able to put something that is a little bit more descriptive if you have a place where you want to do that that is all i wanted to share about enums in filament php if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing because good stuff is yet to come if you have a comment compliment question you can shoot in the comment section below thank you very much